A few months ago, I tried cooking a piece of gammon in some Monster Energy drink. I thought it'd be a weird, fun experiment and never really expected it to taste nice, but it did. It actually tasted delicious. So that made me wonder, are there any other weird food and drink concoctions out there that sound disgusting but actually taste delicious? So today I'm gonna try and make spaghetti bolognese, but instead of using red wine, I'm gonna be using Red Bull. Now, Red Bull's a bit of an odd one because I don't actually know what flavor it is. Of course, I've had it many times, in fact, but I can't describe what it tastes like other than saying it tastes like Red Bull. So I did a little bit of Googling to try and find out, and although Reddit had some suggestions, I couldn't find any genuine answers. So instead of worrying about that, I'm just gonna make spaghetti bolognese with it. I'm not gonna be following a specific recipe for this because bolognese is one of the few things I actually know how to make on my own. And the only changes I'm gonna be making are replacing the red wine with the red bull. And I usually put a couple teaspoons of sugar in, but I'm not gonna do that because I reckon the red bull will make it sweet enough as it is. Pan-wise, I'm gonna be using a casserole dish mainly because it works both on the hob and in the oven. I'm gonna start off the bolognese sauce on the hob and then move it into the oven just to stew. Ingredient wise, we're gonna start off by putting some oil in the pan. Now that the oil's warmed up, I'm gonna throw in some onions and some garlic. And lightly fry these for a little bit. Now that these have started to brown, I'm gonna add in the mince. I've got about 500 grams here. I'm just going to start breaking that up with my spoon. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Some beef stock. Not the most appetizing looking substance. And stir that around until it's dissolved nicely into the meat. Now for a squirt of tomato puree, about that much. Now for a whole can of chopped tomato. And once we start stirring that in, it will start to resemble more of a bolognese sauce. And now it's time for the red bull. I reckon the moment I add this in, it's gonna start smelling pretty weird. Oh, it's foaming. It's quite foamy. <laughs> Let's stir that around a bit. The smell has instantly changed and it's not great. It's like a meaty Red Bull. Back to some more conventional ingredients. I'm gonna add some chopped fresh basil and some dried oregano. Oregano, oregano. Not too much, just a little bit to add some flavor. Oh, the oregano's definitely changed the smell. I'm gonna turn the heat up now and let it reduce for a bit and then I'll put it in the oven. I'll stir it occasionally, but not too much. And I might try and leave the room because this smell is not very appealing. Okay, I've just turned this off the heat now. It's reduced quite nicely. I think it's almost ready to go into the oven. Surprisingly, the weird Red Bull smell has pretty much gone and now it smells like normal bolognese sauce which is promising, maybe it won't taste awful after all. So now I'm gonna put the oven on to 180 degrees and put it in there for about 45 minutes. The bolognese sauce has about 10, 15 minutes left to go in the oven. So I'm gonna put some pasta on so that everything's ready at the same time. The sauce is ready as is the pasta. Time to serve up. Hopefully it's not too disgusting. Still doesn't smell right, that's for sure. Probably enough sauce, maybe a tiny bit more. This is quite a big portion. And finish that off with a tiny couple of basil leaves. At least if it tastes horrible, it looks fairly okay. Oh, I'm putting it off now. I don't want to try it. Do it. It's just the idea of sweet meat, but I guess I can't hold off any longer. Let's see how this tastes. It looks fairly like normal bolognese sauce, maybe a bit less red, 
I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce just to make sure I get the full hit of flavors. Okay, here we go. Spaghetti bolognese with Red Bull instead of red wine. Let's see how it tastes. It's definitely not good. There's a really weird aftertaste. I'm not sure what it is. Like you can taste the Red Bull, that's for sure. You can taste the sort of sweetness and the flavor of Red Bull, whatever it is. That comes through quite strongly. But there's also a really chemically aftertaste, I guess. I think it was kind of similar with the Gammon, so you can taste that sort of distinctive energy drink taste. It's not spit it out horrible, but it's definitely not an improvement. It's too sweet, you can taste the Red Bull. It's sort of the same as when you drink a Red Bull and you have that weird aftertaste of a few hours. So there you have it. It turns out that adding Red Bull to your bolognese instead of red wine doesn't improve it. It makes it much worse. I do not recommend you try this because it tastes horrible. But on the bright side, now you know. If you add Red Bull to bolognese, it's horrible. Don't do it. I hope you enjoyed this slightly weird video. If you did, then feel free to let me know why in the comments. And while you're there, if you've got any suggestions for other food and drink combinations I can try, then let me know. I've been Lucy and hopefully I'll see you again soon.